So I've been watching a lot of tactical videos about Minecraft. Particularly, I'd like to thank Kurt J. Mack for turning me on to Lorgon 111, who really studies the mechanics of the game. I find it's a lot better to know what I'm up against than to have it be some sort of mystical, mysterious thing. See, right underneath the spawn dome, I'm building a ladder straight down. Last time I messed around too long digging staircases and stuff, trying to get down to the lower level and was worried about cooties and all that kind of stuff. Well, you know what? I'm having trouble getting trees to grow. I think my grass blocks are a little too tall and I don't want to have to redig them all, so I thought it's best to dig down. First thing I came across was this pool with some friends in it. I made a boatload of ladders so I can get up and down from deep, 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 deep. I plan to do some branch mining. So now, see, building ladders and stuff, cooties have been spawning. This is a relatively small pool, so it's not completely chock full of nuts. But it has a few guys in it, just a normal, ordinary garden variety spider and a normal, ordinary garden variety zombie. Please remember, I'm on 1.5.2, so there won't be any zombie hordes. Uh, excuse me, 1.5.1. Skeletons are a little bit buffed, but not intolerable. And I don't have, oh, like four or five creepers at a time and four or five skeletons at a time, like some people are getting. I'm getting nipped a little bit. I wish I could uh, have left the volume on, but the, for some reason, Bandicam is not recording the volume in sync. I'm going to have to get in there and tinker around with it and figure out what the heck I'm doing wrong because it just sounds silly because the sounds sound like they're at a higher speed and coming out faster than the video so I haven't had time to fool with it yet but I will the other good thing about jack-o'-lanterns is look at that in water I could also have used it as a step now that I think about it and I will do so later now where's my little zomber pal where'd you go zomber eh I've been in this cave before, in fact, in the other version of Atlantis. This is my chicken swimming pool. It's halfway between the ravine and the old uh, rah, 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 abandoned mine shaft that I'd been playing in in the, um, in the other version. And I have a feeling the abandoned mine shaft is below this and extends from where I'd started digging it before to uh, the ravine at least. So, and there's some iron, which I really need, because I'm down here with no armor. You know, it's a little freaky scary to start exploring deep when you don't have any iron. So, we did really well. I ended up with, this is so silly, by the end of the day, I ended up with one chest plate, one pair of pants, and three helmets, because I accidentally hit that shift clicky deal shoot so I have three helmets I don't have any dang boots I don't have an iron pick follow the gravel baby I'm not lying follow the gravel I uh, found a nice deposit of coal and it turned me on to some other stuff oh by the way oh my first cooties I mean my first uh, silverfish cooties broke my sword I mean broke my pickaxe didn't have my sword out they move so fast, and they were at eye level. I just had to whack them with whatever I could whack them with. Well, since I wore out my picks and sword and yada yada, I came up here to smelt my iron. And while the iron's smelting, I get to do something cool. Because as you can see, I've been getting the house prepped. So, chicken spawn eggs. Yay! I actually have a good place for chickens. Exposed to sunlight. Trying to start a tree in there, too. Exposed to sunlight, that's going to be a, a village because it's exposed to sunlight and I can start my villagers pretty quickly and they will, should be happy in there. Get me some seeds so I can make chicka babies because we got to get on that right away. And I'm real good about every time I come by, I gather the eggs. So I'm going to end up with some babies because of eggs. 
yeah, since I recorded all this, I dug out that wall there where the sand is, and I'm making a villager house so I can spawn villagers. I also plan to dig farther past there to make a place for cows and sheep and pigs. So meanwhile, back at the iron, uh, I think I have a chest plate and pants right now as I'm recording this. I don't remember. Oh, I dug around and dug around and dug around because I kept hearing cooties. I kept hearing spiders. I kept hearing zombies. And I kept hearing slimes. Man, I spent about 20 minutes on a wild goose chase digging around because I could hear them and I was so close. And You know how that is? Wasted a bunch of picks and dug a bunch of holes I had to fill up again with cobble. And look where we are. Oh, no. It's the central hub of the abandoned mine shaft where the rail tracks meet. Really, it goes off in four directions from this point. You know what I think I might do? I might dig a hole so light gets down there, all the way down there, and I might make a cow farm there, bring grass blocks down, make a cow farm down there with a chest with iron buckets in it because there's cave spiders. Now, why is that cobblestone there? Did you see me place that? Why was that cobblestone there? I think over there to the right is a cave spider spawner in the or uh, or uh, mine track mine shaft beep, beep, beep. So I've been upstairs digging around, digging around, digging around, digging around for so long, and I was less than 16 blocks away. And so there's quite a welcoming committee. Now in the old days, I would have just turned around and left. Cause look, poison spiders, normal spiders, slimes. I hear a skeleton someplace. There are creepers. The only thing pretty much that isn't down there is a daggum enderman. But I'm smack in the middle of the mine shaft now. And the reason I wanted to come down, not so much for iron, although I did need that for or, uh, armor. Boy, did I need that. Armor and weapons and tools. But, because I, I can't get the, those little trees to grow yet. So, I got to cough. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I came down for oak wood planks. So I can make lots of stuff. Look how brave I'm being. It's because I've been studying tactics. I've been watching a lot of people who play ultra hardcore together on servers. There's one named Winterhaven, uh, who is, she really knows, understands the game mechanics, and she plays really smart, and she does really innovative stuff. To tell you the truth, she's better than anybody I've seen on Minecraft. And she's funny, and she's articulate, and her analysis of how the game mechanics work is really good. And apparent, I found out about her through Lorgon 111, Ryan. So apparently they're maybe not friends, but I think they've even played together on some ultra hardcore. Some people practice ultra hardcore all the time. So I've learned enough tactics and stuff now that I'm not feeling too scared to go down there in a big dark hall full of critters. Do you hear what I'm saying? Not that I've ever done this before. Ever have I ever gone into a dark room full of mobs. Never. You hear me? Not on purpose unless I just fell. And of course there was a lot of whimpering and screaming and dying when that happened. But I'm doing this intentionally. On purpose. Because I want to. I'm being a little too conservative and thinking I can kill things from five miles up, but hey, you know, it takes a while and spiders do climb up and, you know, I can't tell how many blocks up I am. Whoa, creeper. Whoa, I don't want to, uh, the reason I'm, I'm worried about the creeper blowing up the other guys. Boy, I wish you could hear this. It was just a madhouse. It was so loud. Oh, I wish you could hear all this. Slime slurping and spiders hissing and little stinkers. I hate those things. Everybody hates those things. Next time I'm bringing down, well, I'll have fence posts. What am I saying? Bringing them down. There's a gob of them. I should keep some in my hot bar, though, because I know how to use them now to evade spiders. So, yeah, I'm doing this on purpose because I want to. What do you think of me? Even though I can't see and I don't have any lights down and 
I don't have a full suit of armor, and I'm, I've only got a stone sword, and I'm throwing my pickaxe around because I'm nervous and hitting the wrong buttons. And it's a good big empty dark space. Isn't that exciting? No, it's scary as the dickens, actually. But yeah, I've been watching a lot of tactical stuff. Like it's better when you let us. It's better to let skeletons approach you than to approach them. It's better to have a block on the to the left of you because you can sneak around and shoot them with a bow and arrow without exposing your entire body, so you can hit them and they can't hit you. A bow and arrow or a sword. Or what else? Oh, I know the trick about using fence posts. It must have been the creeper. Or using fence posts to befuddle cave spiders. I know about using a two block high thingamajig to befuddle just regular spiders out in the open like if you're in a desert or something. Uh, I know the make a big hat over you two blocks tall trick so you can stare at Enderman and stuff. I still really don't have a tactic with creepers except smack em run, smack em run. And you see I don't have a lot of uh, backing up space here. I have to, and I'm not a good strafer, so I have to back up and jump at the same time, which is a newly acquired skill. Now I gotta get brave because they're still too far away. I can't reach them. Look at the XP gathering. Look at the XP gathering. Oh, I'm also proud of the fact that I know now to eat before I even begin to tackle any mobs so that I'm at full health and full strength. I'm not on ultra hardcore mode. I'm only on easy. This is easy. And it's only 1.5.2. It's not uh, 1.6. Baby zombies. Oh my gosh. Zombie lag. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, look at the XP down there. Woo! So, the tricky thing is, since this is the central location, things can spawn from at least four directions. North, south, east, and west. They can spawn from below and they can spawn from above. I wasn't expecting to get slimes. I really wasn't. I'm going to try to keep that place, that area right there, clear of stuff so that it will be a good place to um, harvest slimes in the future because I'm not going to have a legit swamp because I'm underwater. I don't know, if, except for being underground, I don't know if there's going to be another way to harvest our slimes. So I'm thinking there's a... a poison cave spider spawner over there someplace. I never did notice if that was a regular spider or a cave spider. All I knew was it was a spider in a mine shaft with cobwebs and that's pretty much all I needed to know. So now I'm running around to all four corners, all four access points and blocking them off and I will tackle them one at a time. I'm going to have to get that stuff out of there in case that's where the slimes are spawning. And you see now we've got something going down, which looks very interesting because, of course, the downer you go, the more likely you'll find gold and diamonds. And uh, Lapis, I like lapis. I don't want to hear it. I love lapis. So this is most likely near a cave spider spawner because they don't just randomly show up. They generally spawn near their spawners as far as I know, and don't just randomly show up in a mine shaft. So I'm thinking better of the idea of exploring down here because it's very dark and I don't have a full suit of armor and I don't have an iron sword and I don't have an iron pick. If I did come across anything wonderful, I just have to go, oh well. So that's me, killing cooties on Atlantis 1.5.1. .1. Have a good day. See you later. Bye.